In this video, I'll show you how I made a small art book with watercolor, acrylic paint, and ink, and also how to turn it into a zine. So stay tuned! To start off, the zine will be printed on 8.5 by 11 paper. So taking that into account, and the fact that my watercolor paper pad was 9 by 12, I decided it would be the most lucrative to cut my paper to 4.5 by 6 inches. I take my paper down onto a drawing board to give crisp white border and keep the paper from warping. This is a sample folding of the zine. It's just folded in half the long way and in half twice the short way with a slit cut in the center. I will show you how to fold this later and there are eight total pages including the cover and the back. And this is how it kind of goes together. I wanted my zine to be full of motivational quotes so I found some of my favorites and printed them out and placed them just for a visual aid. You can just handwrite or skip this step, but I think it helped me to visualize the amount of space that the words would take up on each page so that I could come up with a design that would work. I used watercolor pencils for this entire painting process. You can use whatever medium you like. I made the inside pages of my zine symmetrical designs, so I painted them in pairs. I didn't know what I wanted any of these pages to look like when I started. I just jumped into the painting, which was exciting and also scary, but it's a freeing exercise for me because usually I do like to plan everything out ahead and it gives me some confidence going in, whereas if you're just making it up as you go. You don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you don't know if you messed it up or not. So the whole time I was painting this, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That looks weird. And then I just kept going and adding more to it. And eventually I got to this point where I decided, that's okay. I'll just, I'll just keep that. And then kept painting. You have to get over your fear. After all the watercolor dried, I came and looked at the paintings, and they do have similar colors, but they are very different shapes. The, the watercolor designs, like some of them were very hard-edged and straight-lined, and some of them were circles, and then they had this doodle thing going on. So when all the paint dried, I was like, this needs something more than just the quotes. So I got out the gold paint, and the gold giving some of them a border, just lining some of where the paint was with a, a line of gold or adding the dots in, it really tied them all together and gave them a unifying theme, which I think is kind of important if you're making a bound book, because it's, you know, from front to back, you want to have something cohesive. And the idea of the quotes was cohesive, but I wanted it to look cohesive without even thinking about it. You just look at it and you know these things go together. They're not just an aggregate, they're a collection. I didn't film the process of my handwriting. I just, I just drew the quotes on. I figured out you know, I kind of want to write it here, and then I did. There's really not much to it. I just wrote it on there. So this is how it turned out. So 
So now it's time to take off the tape and scan the images into the computer. When you line them up in Photoshop, which I can't really explain, I have a really old version of Photoshop. Your first page, your second page, your third page, your fourth page, fifth, then the sixth, and then the seventh, and then this is the eighth. That's the order that your layout needs to be in for it to work correctly. So I printed a couple copies, and then I got down to folding. So you want to fold down once the long way, open that up, fold it in half the short way, and then I folded the symmetrical pages together because you know they're going to be closed that direction, that's the direction the fold goes. So these are the inside page I would fold, watch how I make this crease, but the outside binding page I fold the opposite direction just so that it lays nicely and flat. Then you take scissors and you just slice this middle section here. And then when you open it up and then fold it this way and fold it that way and then like this. And that's what happens! And then it's a book! And here you can see the finished little zine. To make a book out of the remaining paintings, I folded two sheets of cardstock. The cardstock is 11 by 7. That way I would have a half inch border all the way around each of the paintings. I found some string I liked and I cut it so that it would stick out a few inches past the end of the page. And then I just tied it into a double knot and then I slid it around onto the back of the binding and then I tied a cute little bow. So to glue on the pages, I just used my Uhu glue stick and stuck them on there and you do have to work it in onto the page. Kind of works into the watercolor paper on the back and when it does it gets a little wet and a little warpy so in order to get it flat you really need to press for a while and use your hands and kind of knead it across until it's nice and flat. Make sure it's lined up because <laughs> once you get it flat you don't want to have to pull it off and do that again. Once you have all of your pages glued in place and they are straight and flat, and make sure you don't get any glue on the edges so you don't wind up gluing your book together, you want to close it and add something with a lot of weight. This could be a pile of books. I used a box full of photographs. And you let it dry for at least an hour. So here's the finished book. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video or if you have any questions. The materials list is in the description as well as links to my Facebook and my Etsy store. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching.